Hi everyone! So today I decided that I was going to try something new and do the strip down challenge. The strip down challenge is basically when I sit here in front of the camera and I talk for 10 minutes and I cannot edit or cut this video in any way. There can be no background music, nothing. I'm pretty much just sitting here talking to you guys for 10 minutes and... We're just gonna see where that goes. So it's, I'm kind of nervous because, I mean, we edit out what we don't want to be seen and this time I can't do that, so it's a little awkward. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the time. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I guess I'll just start with a little bit about me, that's easy. Um, so my name is Tyler Simone McKinney and I was born in Long Beach, California. Um, I have two brothers. They are in the what grade are they in? Twelfth grade. Um, my parents are still together. I'm currently in college, and I'm 20 years old. Um, this is really hard to see. Um, so I came to college. Um, in 2013, I graduated in the year 2013, came straight to college, took no breaks whatsoever. I came into college as a business major and absolutely hated it. Uh, it was just really dry. The people were really boring. What I was learning was not interesting. Math, for one, is not interesting at all. I don't care what anyone says. It's just not interesting. Um, and I thought that that was what I wanted to do, to be honest. And I mean, that's the whole point in college is really to figure out who you are, what you want to do in life, what you like, whatever, your interests. And I really thought that that's what I was interested in. And it might have been like, I think I was really interested in wanting to become an agent. I wanted to be an agent for celebrities and athletes mostly. Um, but after kind of like learning that I needed to understand like the economic side, I don't know why I didn't know that before, but to find out that I needed to know that really, um, it really made me change my mind as far as what I wanted to do. So like later on in college, I decided that I wanted to be a part of the entertainment industry and I wanted to be on camera because I feel like that's something I would be good at and something I would enjoy. So. I changed my major to broadcasting um, for television and video production and absolutely love it. Um, and I guess that was just one of the things that really showed me that I was growing up and maturing and finally figuring out what I wanted to do because that's not what I wanted to do before. Um, so I think that, well in that, I think that that's why college is so important. I think it's so important to come to college because you do get a chance to figure out who you are and who you want to be in the future. Um, sorry, I have a text message. Um, I don't know if I'm doing so well. <laughs> um, but, oh God, this is really, really hard. This is really hard. Um... I guess I can just stay on the topic of college and growing up, but as I've grown up, I feel like I've learned a lot of things. Um, just like anybody else would, I feel like I've learned how to treat people. I feel like I've learned what to accept from people, what not to accept from people. I've just experienced a whole lot of things that um, just really taught me more about people in general and about myself. Um, I've lost friends that I didn't think I would lose. Um, and sometimes it's my fault. Um, I can accept that. But I do believe that everybody comes into your life for a reason, whether it's, you know, forever or for a short period of time, people come into your life and you cross paths with people and sometimes they're just there to teach you something and that's all they're there for and soon they will leave your life. You don't know when, you don't know how, but they do. Um, and it's just really interesting how that happens, you know. 
you get into a relationship with someone or you become friends with someone and it's like, oh, we're going to be friends forever or we're going to be together forever and you plan this life together and you don't think that it's going to end. Well, at least you hope that it isn't. And then come to find out it does. And it's kind of mind blowing because you thought they were there forever, but they were never meant to be there forever. I think that's just so interesting. But I feel like all that all that's happened as far as friends and relationships has caused me to just really want to focus on myself and especially in the stage of my life that I'm in. It's extremely important. I feel like it's extremely important to be selfish at this point because when else are you going to be selfish, you know? You grow up and you have all these responsibilities and you don't really have the time to be as selfish as you can be right now. And that's what I'm trying to do is is really to just think about myself and not, you know, in a mean way as far as looking at it from someone else's point of view. But just, you know, you have to worry about yourself first. Um, so, yeah, I I feel like. I've grown so much and I have so much more growing to do and I feel like a lot of people don't get that opportunity to grow and I think that that's just really sad you know people get caught up in what they're doing right now or what they were doing how much how am I trying I don't know where I'm going with this I think that people get stuck I think that people don't know where to go next Sorry, I'm just so popular, okay? Um, I think that people get stuck and don't know where to go, and I think that they make mistakes. Um, one big mistake, not going away to college. I think that that's huge. I think that that really makes a difference in someone's life, whether they go to college or don't go to college. It's the biggest game changer ever, I think, you know, people who didn't go to college are still back at home having babies. Babies! Like, how are you raising a child? A human being. You're, you're still a child, kind of, mindset-wise. You're still a child. You haven't learned anything. Like, you haven't experienced anything or experienced enough to, to just be able to teach someone else what have you learned that you're able to teach nothing there's nothing i i just it blows my mind how people are able to bring someone into the world and to call it a blessing and it's not that i think children aren't blessings but you know, that situation is not something that you should strive for or be okay with. And, you know, it all goes, I guess it can go back to religion, re, religious region, sorry, religious reasons. And, you know, if it happens, it happens and you have to be okay with it because no, you cannot kill a human being. But at the same time, what are you doing to be a great parent if you're stuck in the mindset of a child like that's one thing that blows my mind and it's scary to me to even picture myself having children at this age it's like it's very scary to picture myself trying to teach someone how to be a great person and or a successful person or a kind person or you know, whatever. I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm still trying to figure out my life and what to do and what not to do. So how can I teach someone else, you know? I don't know how I got on that subject. Uh, it got intense really fast. But, um, yeah. <laughs> um... I don't want to sit here for one whole minute. I have a minute left. This is really hard. I think that... Oh my God, I don't even know. 
I just don't even know. Yeah. I'm gonna just end here because if I start rambling on about something else, it's gonna go over 10 minutes and we don't want that. Cause I'm currently at nine minutes and 34 seconds. So I'm just in this video here and say that this was extremely difficult because I don't know what to say. You know, I edit so that it looks like I've continued saying whatever I was saying, but in reality I've taken multiple takes. The truth comes out, um, but this was fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if this gave you any more insight into who I am and what I think and what I believe, but hopefully it was entertaining for you to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. Someone's calling me. I'll see you guys later. Bye.